Alright, what's up guys? I'm recording this voiceover while my brother's doing his homework. I just wanted to go over some recent PRs that I've hit and how training has been going over the past like month to two months since I returned from my vacation. It's been going pretty well. The first clip here is a uh, 225 times 5 AMRAP on bench. This... I, I don't really know what to say about this. I mean... It felt good for this day, but literally every day after, um, 225 has gotten like easier and easier, and that's solely because I've bulked up to like consistently over 170 pounds body weight, which is like fantastic for me. Also, bench has been feeling amazing because I finally tweaked my form to like, you know, be good. Uh, this is 225 for a 4x4. Four four. This is the first set, and uh, as you can see, um, Compared to like a lot of my old bench videos, when I'm on my toes, I'm very like flat footed now and my f stance is a bit wider. So my glutes are like always locked up and I don't have to worry about like leg activation. This is 225 for a 3x3 three three pause. Uh, I'm on a new program now. Elliot put me on a PPL hypertrophy mix that's seven days a week. So. On Fridays now, I have a dynamic day of 3-2-1 rep paused, bench squat and deadlift, except uh, bench is a 3-by-3 three three pause. So this was the first set. This is the last set. I decided to go up to 235 for a 3-by-3, three three, um, also paused. And this felt extremely good. Like, I was very happy with this. Um, but yeah, like I said, bench has been going super well for me lately. I'm kind of getting the groove back for a uh, squat and deadlift. Um, this is 235 for a 4-by-4. Four um, this felt amazing too. Just super casual. I think this was a second or third set. I can't remember. This is my 265 pound bench press PR. Uh, I hit this during my max out day. And I mean, that line kind of says it all. It felt amazing. And this I actually hit just recently, like two days ago. This is 275 pounds. And this I was super happy with judging by that sound so I'm really really happy with that and I'm really happy with how bench has been going um I injured my back uh like three to four weeks ago so this is my first week back to deadlifting this is 425 for four this is not like a as many reps as possible I just was kind of seeing how deadlift felt obviously my form is kind of disgusting we're gonna get back into the swing of it as soon as I start to pull more and then I moved on to 405 for a 5x4 uh, like I said form just it's not dis it's not terrible but it's not the best I just need to open my knees up more keep my hips down and this last clip is a 3x7 of 315 high bar squat one thing I'm going to start doing with my squats now is going way below parallel for my sets um, because I've been trying to squat a big number recently and I've got it twice just above and just right at parallel so you will see that soon I will post that in you know a video on its own but uh yeah that's just some recent training updates uh now on to the actual vlog God damn, there's so many bees. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, I don't like this. Oh. How, how, does, how does this get blown over? It was like over there. I can't pick that up. Maybe I can. Oh, dude. Okay. I have a feeling I got sabotaged. Whatever. There was my little nature walk around the house. I don't really know what that was. I just kind of decided to walk around the house. Today I have to hit push with Garrett. We are going at like five o'clock. It's currently 3.46. We have a, oh hey focus. We have a four by eight on incline. We're gonna do like a four by 25 lateral raise set today and that's gonna kill 
uh, and then after that, I think we might like get food somewhere. Yeah, in that little update at the beginning, I think I, I think I covered most of the PRs that I've gotten recently, which has been insane. Here's a quick little body weight PR as well. Hamburger. Yeah, I'm 171.6. That's a big, huge, like body weight PR. So hopefully I can get to like 175 soon. That would be ridiculous. And then after that, 180, and then etc. So we'll see. Uh, I have to, I'm gonna eat. What else am I gonna eat before we go? Honestly, I haven't eaten that much today. I'm gonna have one more of these little trail mix things. They're like 170 calories each. And I'm also going to have a thing of kettle chips, just some carbs. Mm, I don't really wanna throw these. I think I'm gonna go like Robex and get a smoothie. And that will be my last little meal snack thing before we go to the gym today. Hi. Okay. Also, this is from deadlifting yesterday. Somehow I like scratch myself whenever I pull sumo and like my nails just dig into my legs. I also got some quad action going on a little bit. I just got water everywhere. I'm looking kind of fat today. We got some shaggy hair. Okay, so Garrett got off early, so we won't be able to go now. Swag. All right, now we can get ready to go. So I don't necessarily know exactly what weight I'm gonna go for today. Can this focus, please? Hello? There we go. Yeah, like I said, I don't exactly know what, what weight I'm gonna go for. I got 175 for the four by eight last week. So this week, I'm honestly not entirely sure what I'm feeling. I, I, I haven't had that much to eat this morning. Wow, this, hello? I'm like blocking out the sun. I haven't had that much to eat today in terms of like caloric density. I'm probably at like 1k cows for the day right now, which isn't that good because I usually like to go into the gym around 2.5 to 3k in because right now I'm on, or what I'm supposed to be on is 4,000 to 4,500 a day, which is very difficult being a student and having a job. So anybody who's like bulking on like 6,000 calories a day, I respect you. Thoroughly. Like I said, not sure. Obviously, I want to go for that progressive overload. So, if anything, I'm going to try and up it by at least like five pounds from last week. So, hopefully, uh, 180 four by eight on incline, which would be sweet. Um, but yeah, we'll find out soon, I guess. Jesus Christ, that took forever. One more thing that I want to mention before we go is what I've been doing for pre-workout recently. And, oh, hello. Hey, hello quads, how are you? One thing I've been doing for pre-workout recently is since I have school and I have to wake up at like 6.25 in the morning, I haven't been taking any like super high stimulant pre-workout, especially this fucking thing. This is what I took when I got like my 385 squat. This, oh. This, if you know pre-workouts, you know what this is. This has like 1,3-dimethyl, himbine, all that fucking like weird like chemical shit. So literally what I've been doing now is just two pieces of caffeine gum. You can get this stuff on Amazon. Like it's like, it, it's a, literally a huge box. I get the millet or the, uh, what's it called? The mint kind, cause I just like the way it tastes better. I haven't tried this flavor. I don't really know what it is, but it's like 100 milligrams of caffeine per, I guess, piece of gum. So literally just pop like, ah, uh, fuck. Pop two, and you should be fine. And they taste good. So yeah, that's all I've been doing really. They're kind of minty. And there's probably a bunch of different flavors, but Caffeine gum has always done me well, and I like chew these during class and stuff too, because I tend to fall asleep during class. Scholar. But, yeah. 
Alright, now it's time to leave for the gym. Alright, let's get the fuck out of this hoe. You're my third person. Oh, shit. oh yeah, it's also a beautiful day outside, and it's been very nice for the past like week. I don't know what's happening, because it's usually either disgustingly hot, really cloudy, or raining here in good old Mar Maryland, go Maryland. And uh, it's so hot in my car. Um, also, those two pieces of caffeine gum that I just put in my mouth, I just accidentally swallowed them. So now we gotta go get more. Only one. I don't necessarily know how these work, like if you have to like chew through a certain amount of the gum to get all the caffeine or what. But if you just have to like insert it and chew it for like two minutes to get the caffeine, then that's 300 milligrams of caffeine before this workout. Fuck. Star she blues. Okay, I'm here now. We just have to wait for G Man. And my mirror is dirty. What? What? What do you say? Okay. What? I know they are. They make my quads look huge. I literally have fucking belts bigger than those shorts. Dude, I'm vlogging today. That's fucking homo. Wait, let me read your shirt. Yeah, Ashley got me this shirt. That's like this. Uh, what are they called? I'd flex, but I like this shirt. It's like the gamer shirts. Yeah, but see, that's that's a sad reality for most of my shirts. <laughs> what? It adds like light to everything. He's looking so tan. I know. I'm just really tan. I wonder why. It's almost like there's a sun and I'm outside. I'm never outside. Oh, see, I am, and I'm Asian. I just have naturally pigmented skin that's dark. See, I do too, but being tanner just makes it even better. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Swag. Had to find the groove. <laughs> the Emperor's new groove. Garrett's new ink. Upper groove. chest. <laughs> Let's see how this feels. I might be going for a 10 pound for yours. Do it. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I ordered like a pair of shorts. I ordered like a, a sweater. I got the rag top. I ordered the gym sharks. I got the stupid little headbands, but I was like, but high quality headbands, this is a necessity now. Did you get them both? Yeah, I got one gray one because I wanted the gray one, and then I got you the red one. Sweet. You should have told me, I, I would have given you a better brand. Junk brands? Junk. Do you know who like Russ Wool is? Like Russ or Orgy? Yeah, yeah, the black guy. Yeah. He gets his headbands from junk bands. They look sweet. Oh yeah, no, I was just going on Instagram and it popped up and I said, This is nice. order. Imp yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do that like all the time. Shirt, it pops up and I go, hmm, Impulse order. Yes, please. Let me find the plates. Whenever we bench or do anything, all my plates have to be exactly the same. These ones right here, the skinny ones. See, literally the equivalent of putting on just two fives to make a ten. Fuck that. Yes. Four by eight. I'll be ten pounds here. Four by eight. Week. Yeah. Sheesh. I don't yeah. think I can get this for eight. One fifty-five. Eight. Definitely. That's only one fifty-five. You definitely do that. Let me find my twenty-fives. Oh fuck. This is 
extraordinarily harder while holding a camera. You know, I, I did a, a PR, a personal PR, a life PR. A life PR? What? A life PR. The dude in my bio class turned, or my bio lab, his name's John. I, I think he's like five or six years older than me. He goes, you have a mean voice. Just very monotonous and everything you say is just super sarcastic. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> says sarcastically thank you <laughs> Fuck, i really wish i didn't forget my tripod or else this would be 10 times easier but i'm gonna have to set this up like on my like bottle of water this is such a ghetto setup there we go I'm literally setting this up in the most ghetto way possible. Dude, someone's gonna sit their ass on that and it's gonna pop right in <laughs> Nah, I got it. Bay? Oh, that lock wow. screen is swag. Right? <laughs> DJ, DJ Hogan, <laughs> Mark Zucker, brother. <laughs> and who, uh, Kim Jong Un is in there too? Yeah. What the fuck? We're about to see some, some peony. <laughs> <laughs> that picture love, actually killed me. I love just Look at this. He has like no <laughs> reaction to it. <laughs> I want to know like where that picture like originated from like that's some like cursed image found on the dark web I know right fuck that all right what is this uh second set Tan games yeah exactly We need to be doing food some. after this I've had no food in this I know I'm so fucking hungry where you want to go Denny's Denny's where the fuck's Denny's It's in the mall It's what Oh, gosh. I feel like I don't know how I'm feeling that is. Actually, wait. I'm feeling wait. some Sarku, to be honest. I'm feeling some five guys. All right, let's go into the wall then after this. Yeah, but I want Sarku. Okay. Uh, I wish for the Japanese food, mainly because they make some really good chicken. I'm feeling a hypertrophy block. Perhaps Wait, not. that's because I'm on one. <laughs> this is quite a flattering angle. Oh my god. Cash or credit. Elf on the shelf. You Look heard of Elf on the shelf, now you've heard of. I, I, I can't make that rhyme. <laughs> One-handed lift off. <laughs> this is so dangerous. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, I saw oh, that mess groove. so heavy. I saw that mess groove. It hit my nipple and I immediately wanted to know. If you miss groove on incline, you're done for that entire set. Maybe I'll get the dumbbells and just keep going. <laughs> Next. I kind of want to do incline dumbbells, but that kind of just like fucking goes hand in hand with this. So, I DK, bro. <laughs> That was all you, to be honest. <laughs> you started pushing right before I picked it up. Last one, right? And that took some life out of me. I think three years just came off my life expectancy after that. I like how they, they, like for every like pound of bacon you eat, that's like ten years off of your life. Man, I, I don't like, give a fuck. Bacon is gains. Yeah, dude. I was like, bro. Then everyone would die at like twenty. That's facts. I mean, I can do at least three, and that's about it. 
Next next week I'm gonna put who can deadlift the most and my money. Oh yeah. All right. Next Two week. conventional. Both. Oh, I can totally wreck your shit in convention. I got four or five for two. Yeah, I can do like six or five. Okay. <laughs> she knows. No, completely raw. Completely raw. <laughs> I'm literally gonna bring my wrist wraps, elbow sleeves, knee sleeves, <laughs> head my gear, smelling salts, <laughs> uh, like a, what is it called, mouth guard. I'm just be like, 135 deadlift and shoot it up. And above my head. <laughs> Next up, we have. Open up the program. We have, <laughs> oh shit, weighted pull-ups. Six to ten. Yikes. Yeah, these suck. But Elliot was like, do weighted pull-ups and you will get huge back. And I said, word. This is fast. And he threw it in on my upper hypertrophy day, so it makes sense. <laughs> this both suck. All the gay guys always hit on me. Me too. Dude, I'm I, fucking... Literally somebody added me today to be too quick. I was like, are you serious? No, like my coworker Paul, he goes, looks like somebody bought him a muscle shirt but forgot the shirt. And I was wearing a tank top. I was like, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm flattered, but at the same time, because I, no. now I can say that men and women find me attractive. <laughs> my camera's I, about to die. Can I do them like this? Yeah, no. I don't know if I can do them like this. Six to ten. With a 25 pound plate. Come on, two more. Come on. Oh, that's right. One more, at least. There you go. <laughs> it's the stool. It is if the stool. If I couldn't have reset, I wouldn't have gotten the last one. This music cranks. Yo, nobody can disagree with me that E thoughts are by far the hottest breed of women ever. It smells like paint in here. It's almost like they're painting. <laughs> I made him laugh. It hurts. It burns my steps so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I should start like foaming out the mouth. Oh, that would have been sick if this was in focus. Huh? Oh, oh no, fuck, I didn't see you. I think he just left his coffee. Four by 25. Yeah, look at that face. That's how you know the, some good sets. <laughs> also, a bunch of nut on the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, that's, oh my god, everything's on fire. <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh my god. That's how it feels. Look at that pump though. Right? Let me touch him. Oh yeah. He's hissing again. Oh, 
See, the difference in our form is that mine's way more strict and his is way more momentum based. And just because he has good genetics, he thinks that he's outworking me. It's a fucking faggot. Yeah, it's time to unleash the stringer. Yeah, I suppose I should just take off my shirt. I don't, well, I don't have anything else to go down to. Naked. I oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, throw them 15 pound dumbbells over. I wouldn't do a 45s, but I'll do a 15s. It's I know. It's fucking nutty after too long. Oh, fuck. Hey, yeah, Dan. Just jumped in 20 bags. Beast on my phone. Now we got triceps. Three by fucking what? Ten? Jesus Christ, this angle that I have is stupid. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not feathering. That's just like a third tricep, fourth tricep. Oh, I know that weird part at the bottom. Yeah, I was like, is that feathering or is that just another right, muscle? Go, oh, not too much, Danny. How about you? Yeah, I just have a weird, weird tricep thing right there. I don't know what it is. It like splits. So fucking tight. Oh, my God. First time I've ever worked shoulders in my life. Tucked in shirt. Oh, but this looks like a dunk. You hear this, right? Nope, I hear it. <laughs> Nobody tell me nothing. It's an old town jeep. They're talking about powerlifting. That's fucking disgusting, bro. Ow. Come on, bro. Give me a solid rep. It's, it's too big. <laughs> that was difficult. Huh? Putting on hand sanitizer while holding a Kometa. Jeez, it's so nice out. I know, right? Me likey this weather. Oh, my camera's a bit fucked up. Where did I park at? You parked behind me. I parked over there. Which is strange because usually I park in the first row. I thought you did, I'll be honest. I thought that Nissan or that Honda was you. I always yeah, park I, the like, first saw row. You over there in your camel, or your mirror. When? Your fucking mirrors. Windows. <laughs> I went through a really Wait, big what process. the fuck? This is my car right here. No, but it's not my car. No, There's my car. I... Alright, I'll see you at the mall. I... Yeah, yeet. Okay, yeah. Anyways, we just finished that session. I did get a PR on incline of 185 for a 4x8. Um, 
so that's sweet. And we had a fucking nutty ass shoulder and somewhat uh, tricep pump afterwards. So I feel great right now. We're going to the mall to get five guys. I don't know what he's gonna get. Some Kai um, Thai curry stuff. Little Chinese boy. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about that session a little bit. It felt really good. Okay, this camera's just not gonna expose on me. Whatever. It felt extremely good. Like, I felt great, especially uh, my pushing strength. I'm loving what it's doing. Literally, like I said, uh, wait, let me turn down my air. If any of that picked up. But yeah, like I said, pushing strength literally only comes from, like, well, not only, but. If you want to increase your pushing strength, literally just gain weight because as you gain weight, your pushing strength will shoot up. Oh my god, there's a gorgeous female behind me. Holy f Just coming up on the left. Yeah, like I said, just up your body weight and your pushing strength will shoot up. Like, mine has seriously gone up so much, especially from gaining like 7 to 8 pounds. It's kind of ridiculous, so... Besides that, um, everything feels fine. My back is a little bit sore because I started deadlifting, kind of like I explained earlier in this video. So hopefully the DOMS will go away once I start like consistently deadlifting again. But uh, yeah, I'm hungry as shit right now. How'd you get here so fast? Oh, I'm gonna hit. <laughs> How'd you get here so fast? I took the shorter route. I waved at you and everything. Yeah, I thought you were some fucking random weird no, lady. No. I thought you were a weird lady like, yelling at me for vlogging. <laughs> Holy fuck. Dead people here. It's the apocalypse. Holy sh- Where are they coming from? They're coming from the trees. There's so many. Yeah, we're about to die. Look at them all. They're like all on the mall. Like, like literally the mall is about to get raided. Alright, we're fucked. I don't have any pockets. Okay, well, it looks like we're buying shorts here. Yes. True. I almost bought a shit ton of this stuff the other you day. You should have. Yeah, but then I bought Gymshark and, and Old School. Yeah, oh my man. god, all my utilities are like tucked into my pants because I don't have any pockets. We better get hit by this motherfucking dude. He ain't slowing down. Look at him go. <laughs> like 27 miles per hour. Dude, it smells like some mad. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna get like yelled at. Bringing camera. Yeah, who cares? God. <laughs> what do you think about the new fucking Dragon Ball Z game that's gonna come out? Does it look good to you? you no, it just looks like a clone, but I'm still gonna get it. Okay. That's the thing. It, it's literally just retelling the story for like the 800th time. But I know. But I'm what else can you it. do with Dragon Ball Z? I don't know. That's the hard thing is that there's, no there's not that room. much to do. Yeah, they tried it with what? What was it? Tank uh, uh, was The it? online one where you get like customize yeah. your character. Yeah, they tried to do their own storyline, then everyone just didn't like it. So yeah. they were like, "Well, let's just go back to what everyone liked." <laughs> I liked Xenoverse. That was really good. Yeah, that's what it was. Xenoverse. Xenoverse the was awesome. The I love was, Xenoverse. The only problem I had was that the Super Saiyan like modes and everything were all limited. oh really overpowered. No, they no were they introduced Ultra Instinct and it's so overpowered. I'm pretty <sighs> sure unless they like nerfed it. Like your like custom character can literally be Ultra Instinct. I think that's sweet. Except it's so. Well, is that Xenoverse one or two? Two. Oh. They don't talk about Xenoverse one anymore. Yeah, that's why I was like Xenoverse one was like kind of bad. Yeah, no. Xenoverse 2 is much just better. Kind of got that wind ability online, and then it became so broken. Yeah, you're kind of right. Because nobody could fucking counter it. There was no way to counter it. Being gay. Why did they put this in the middle of the thing? <laughs> I'm getting five guys. I'm getting so cool. Okay, I don't know what that is. Hi. Can I get a plain bacon cheeseburger with a small fries? Very strange vlogging in public, but whatever. I'm number 42. If anybody understands this very, like, complex, in-depth reference, leave it in the comments. The number 42. 42. Thank you. Thank you. Now, where the fuck is Garrett? Oh God, I don't know where. Oh shit, this is good. I have no idea where he is. 
not fucking good. I don't know where he is. I'm a lost little boy in the mall looking for my mom. Look, he's, he's literally my mom. He even told me to go to my room. What the fuck? Are you retarded? <laughs> he walked right past me. I was looking, I thought you were like way over there. All right, come over here. I still gotta get my order. What? Oh, there's so many people over there, I don't wanna go. Um, oh, God damn it. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Just almost plowed that kid over. I know. He <laughs> almost wrecked him. And by the time I did, I was like, oh, excuse me. This is so awkward holding my camera and my burger and my soda. Me too. <laughs> oh god. Are you a spoiler guy? Yeah, you go for it there. This turn dies. Oh damn. Like Freya straight throws her off the building. Kills her. Sends her back to what? I'm about to get these. These will be mine. I'm about to get them. Oh my god, they still have Beyblades. Beyblades are still a thing? That's crazy. I forgot those like existed. They were lit though. If you know what these fucking things are. The, the phantoms, fuck those things. And also fuck these things. Stupid ass fucking drowns, I hate them. These will be my new deadlifting socks. Perhaps. <laughs> oh my god. Drop $150 on a controller? I think so. Like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Gets terminal cancer like a boss. Gets testicles removed because a doctor misdiagnosed testicular cancer. Yes. Like a boss. Dude, it's absolutely crazy. I just, I, I just cannot the think. I kid having a stroke on camera. <laughs> I really hope I got that. Yes. He literally just went. He does like he just like like Brian and I do this like weird Tourette's thing where you just go. I just like have him freak out like randomly. Oh, they smoke shit. Like, did I tell you like I tried a pair of jeans on here and I ripped through them and I just put them back. Yeah, no, I did that with my jeans once. I tried to like get it past my waistline and I did, and then my quads ripped through and I went, oh, oh. <laughs> he peed in the bushes last time. That, I, Dude, I was literally gonna push there. Nature is there. Oh. I have a cock in its nature. <laughs> and then she was like, Karen, if you ever need CPR, I'm CPR certified. I'm I I right there. Like, I certainly wouldn't mind giving you some CPR. And I was like, oh, Mary, math, you don't got to A little bit of math to that. mouth? Yeah, I just With fell on the floor and started acting like I was like convulsing. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, Garrett. I was like, nah, I'm just kidding, Mary. <laughs> She's like, you shouldn't do it's that. Like, exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm going home and eating my burger. Pee. Jesus Christ. Dude, you don't understand, I can't hold it. My bladder don't work that way. And as a car just pulls up. <laughs> y'all, y'all. Just, just, just a little bit. Oh no. I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> yo, yo, make sure you're hitting parallel. Is that depth? Is that depth, dude? It's just a family right there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I had to straight up piss egg over there. No, you, you literally did like my squat stance. Like, I had to fucking sumo, so it was just <laughs> too much weight. The sumo piss. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I think that's going to do it for this vlog. What an eventful day this was.